try to carve a little comfort bird or love bird. They're just little stylized carvings which are which is a style of carving that you you, you just get the general form of what you're carving and uh, you don't have many details. It's just very smooth and where it's pleasant to look at and pleasant to touch. And so that's what we're going to try to do. So I've already cut out a rough shape of the profile on the bandsaw. But you don't have to do that if you don't have a bandsaw. You can use a coking saw or just cut it out with a knife, but it takes a lot longer. Anything you can do to remove the wood quicker, that's what I do. And I've also drawn out a top view, sort of to get the outside shape. Drawn a center line to keep everything symmetrical. And the next step will be to start taking off this wood on the side and get, get the top view roughed out. And then we'll start defining things. Start with a rough out knife or a general carving knife. This is a little Murphy knife. It's really inexpensive, but it's a real good little knife. Anybody could, I mean, they're like $14 from wood carver supply. So you can do a lot of carving with just that little knife. So we'll start by taking off some of this on the side. Start at the front and work back, or start at the back and work to the front, whichever works for you. Bracing with this thumb and pulling, and I always keep my thumb out of the way of that blade. But you're going to cut yourself if you do it long enough. And then we use another cut, it's called a paring cut or a lever cut, or push against my thumb like a lever and you can get a lot of power behind it. And this is bass wood, which is a very soft, just a more or less pre preferred carving wood for most people. You have to order it. But you can carve any wood, some of it's just harder to carve than others. This doesn't have a, a very pretty grain structure at all, so we'll do some of these out of some other wood that's got prettier grain in it. So just try to keep things symmetrical as you go one side or the other. Look at it from every angle. We're just sort of getting it close, removing excess wood. rough shape. I'm going to start taking some off back here. And you have to turn it when you're coming into a curve, if I tried to cut this curve from this direction, I just split the tail off, so you got to come from one direction, and then turn to this curve and come the other direction.
Got it carved. Now we're gonna try to sand it, <laughs> cause that's that's what makes a stylized carving a stylized carving is getting it real smooth. And you can sand as much as you want to sand. It's your carving. You get it like you want it. I like to do pretty good. I start with a about a hundred grit and go to a two fifty. Maybe a 150, I don't know if it's part of an old sander belt. You can tell I'll be here for a while. We'll come back later. been sanding and sanding and sanding so you can do this as long as you want to I think we'll call it good enough I'm gonna dust him off and you can also take a crumpled up paper bag 
crumple and crumple and crumple and crumple and crumple and you can burnish and almost get a well you can get a shine on it if you do it long enough and it's beautiful but we're not going to go to that extreme with this little bird so there you go Like I said, uh, this basswood doesn't have a lot of figure in it, but we're going to put a little bit of mineral oil on it to seal it and bring out what little grain is there. And you can use sand and sealer or varnish or linseed oil or whatever your choice of finish is. But mineral oil will serve the purpose. Whatever you put on it is going to darken the wood, you can see. See, it's got a little bit of grain. There you go. The comfort bird. Thank you. 